Hi, Brentic here, where tech is made simple. So back at the end of November last year, the latest optional update for November 2023 um, introduced Copilot in Windows 10, which uh, is on a controlled rollout. And it's still on a controlled rollout. And, uh, and most including myself, haven't received it. Because um, shortly after the update, um, KB5032278 was released at the end of November last year. And there was a bug that would cause the desktop icons on multi-monitor systems to jump between displays when using Copilot. So because of this problem, Microsoft basically applied a safeguard hold, which blocked affected Windows 10 users from updating to Windows 11 or getting Copilot on uh, Windows 10. Now, just to let you know that um, if you were affected by this issue were and are using a multi-monitor uh, setup, Microsoft has now confirmed over on the Known Issues Health Dashboard page that uh, if you are running Windows 10 um, with a multi-monitor setup, you can finally get Copilot on your PC or also update to Windows 11 because it was also stopping Windows 10 from updating to Windows 11 to some extent or the other. And uh, um, the issue was resolved with this update, according to Microsoft. KB5039299, which rolled out for Windows 10 on the 25th, 26th of June, depending on your region, which was the June optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10. And I'll leave this video down below and in the end screen. With Microsoft saying over on their known issues health dashboard page, and I'm quoting this, they say, we are gradually rolling out a new Copilot experience for devices with Windows updates released June 25th, 2024 or later. This new experience will resolve the issue for Windows 10 version 22H2. This update was released on June 25th and you can expect to receive the new Copilot experience between now and the coming months. So basically, if you were looking out for Copilot and weren't getting it, obviously um, most I think including myself because this Windows 10 um, device of mine has a multi-monitor setup. Uh, there was a compatibility hold and that should be resolved now. And this Copilot I have on my taskbar is not the actual Copilot for the desktop. This is a PWA and I posted on how you can actually get the Copilot um, PWA on your taskbar and I'll also leave that video in the end screen if you would be interested. So. That's still on a controlled rollout. Copilot, a Copilot experience for Windows 10, which brings Copilot to the desktop, just like in Windows 11. That should start gradually rolling out now because that safeguard hold has been lifted according to Microsoft and was resolved with this update, 5039299, which rolled out last week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.